what is up everybody welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new and welcome to vlogmas So today's a video, kind of chill, we're just gonna chat. I thought we could talk about all of my goals for 2024. Every year I make New Year goals, um, same thing as a resolution I guess, I just call them New Year goals. Um, but I make New Year goals, I make a vision board. So I'll insert a picture of my vision board here so you guys can see it if you would like. And then I also do some more short term goals. So like quarterly or monthly I'll kind of check in just with myself on my handy dandy planner which I actually have my 2024 planner right here but I'll check in on those short-term goals kind of self-monitor if you will um, and I'll make them up as I go through the year and they're always only a couple and they're very tangible so I talk more about those on my podcast we run on coffee podcast so if you're interested definitely check it out but let's dive into my overarching 2024 goals. So I'm hoping that this video will be a little bit shorter because I know I've been making lots of long videos recently, but I started a note and although I'm not done yet with all of my 2024 goals, I want to share what I have. My number one 2024 goal sounds kind of silly, but it's have cute brown hair. So as you can see, I'm very blonde um my roots are getting so dark though because my natural hair is coming in i went blonde this year kind of like for summer i went super 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 blonde and i love it i think it's so cute but i think it's time i feel ready to be a brunette girly go back to my roots literally and stick with my normal hair color and then just add a few highlights here and there to give it some volume or like some dimension if you will so i'm already planning to get this done in January. I'm gonna go brunette. I can't believe it. But yeah, I am having the new year goal to have cute brown hair because when I was younger, there was nothing I wanted more than to change my hair and make it blonde. And now that I'm an adult, I think I'm ready to embrace my natural hair and just go with it. Another 2024 goal I have is to travel to a new country. So I'm hoping that this year we go to Canada. We've really been wanting to. We've been thinking about it. Canada is so beautiful, so naturey, and that's what we love the most when we travel. So I'm really crossing my fingers for a Canada trip. I'd love to go to Banff, but it's so far away. So we're also thinking about maybe Toronto because that's totally more reasonable for us where we live right now. But yeah, going to a new country is definitely on the list, especially because a 2023 goal was to get passports and we did. So now we can go to a new country. My next 2024 goal is to buy a van. It's been a goal for a couple of years. If you've been watching, you might know. We've been talking about it a lot, but my boyfriend Angel and I are planning to live in a van and travel the country. So we need to find an actual van so that we can buy it and start building it. It is definitely the biggest obstacle is buying the van itself um, because we've had a really hard time finding exactly what we need, but I'm working on being patient and I'm continually putting it on my goals lists to manifest it into reality. So this year, buying a van. My next 2024 goal is to read 12 books. So my goal in 2023 was to read 12 books. My goal in 2022 was to read 12 books. My goal in 2021 was to read 12 books, probably so on. Um, in 2023, I think is the first time I've ever actually done it. I read more than 12. And the reason I picked 12 is because that's one per month and I feel like that's reasonable with all of the other things I do in my adult life, with my job, in my hobbies, etc. So I felt like 12 was a reasonable number to pick, a good goal, and this year I exceeded it. So I would just like to keep the same goal for next year. I'm not going to push myself any further because, like I said, I'm busy and that was definitely kind of a stretch, but I really enjoyed reading for pleasure more this year, so I want to do it again. Okay, my next one is to grow the podcast in 2024. So if you're watching this, definitely run to Spotify, subscribe to my podcast. We run on coffee. Um, it is so much fun. It is a podcast with me and my friend Marissa. Um, and we just talk about everything life in your 20s. Like anything you can think of life in your 20s, the most random stuff. We talk about it. We talk about our favorites. We talk about the most hilarious stories from our travels and vacations together. We talk about family and family dynamics we talk about so many things so yeah she is married 
I am not. <laughs> um, she is, I think she's 24 or no, wait, I think she's 23. I'm 25. So we just have all kinds of perspectives on all kinds of things and we talk about it. That's pretty much it. So my goal in 2024 is just to grow the podcast at all. I don't want to put a number on it. I didn't want to get too crazy with it, but I think it would be cool just to grow it more. We're already in so many countries. We have listeners in so many places of the world, which is incredible. I just want to see it continue to grow because I have so much fun doing it. Next goal is to visit my friend Taylor in Los Angeles. She moved to LA this past September and obviously now it's December and so it's only been a few months, but I know that in the new year it will be more realistic for me to actually get out there and travel so I would like to visit her go to the beach do fun California girl things and I have to put it on my new year goals to make sure that I hold true and go to LA so that is definitely on the list and finally the last goal I actually have written down like I mentioned they're not done and I might add a few more but I try to keep it tame not make it unrealistic but the last one is to get even more into dance and try new styles so I'm proud of myself because I signed up for a class in the new year already. It's on my calendar, so as long as I don't cancel it, we should be good to go. Um, I'm going to take a contemporary dance class, but if you don't know, I grew up dancing. I've been dancing since 2004, um, and I danced all the way from being literally six years old to all the way through high school. And in college, I did some Zumba and some dance workout, but I completely lost a lot of my technique, a lot of my skills, a lot of my tricks, and all the things I used to be good at. So in the past couple years, I've really tried to get into dancing at my studio in my town, which I absolutely love my dance studio. And last year, I actually did a showcase where um, it was like a dance recital, but for all the adult classes, and it was so fun to be on stage again. It really inspired me to take more classes and get back into the other styles I used to do. So all that to say, in the new year, I really want to dive even deeper into dance. I've only been doing hip hop for like a year and a half, two years. I'm ready to branch out and take some more new styles because I used to be a really good dancer and I'd love to be a really good dancer again. That is it for today's video. Those are my 2024 goals. I'm definitely going to add some here and there and I'll be interested to see what they are. Sometimes I also like to just add little things. Um, that I want to do. For instance, getting my passport is something that only took me like a day to do it, but making it a goal for my year um, helped keep it front of mind. So I'm sure there's a few more little things I'll think about to add, but for now, that's what I have and I wanted to share them with you guys. So that is it for this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.